Read from England. Mm. Read it yourself. Uh, you want me to make it? Connect to the Arab, oh yes, would you like me to explain how the Islamic Republic of Iran connects to the Arab terrorists? And would Mr. Zachary not have mentioned such an important news to anyone else in the case that no one from the U.S. believes him? Uh, yes, he did mention to other yeah. people at the time. Uh, and in fact, I have uh, seen, that was a very good question. He wants to know if, if Mr. Zachary's information that he brought to the United States in July of 2001 was correct, how come, how come the Americans didn't believe him? And is there anybody else who can be a witness to it? And the answer is yes on both. Um, first of all, I have seen the actual letter that he wrote uh, to uh, the Americans. They allowed him to keep a copy. Uh, and I've seen that letter, and it's been authenticated to me. Uh, I worked for seven years with uh, families of the 9-11 victims investigating Iran's ties to the 9-11 attacks. And we won a major lawsuit in New York just a couple of months ago, in December of 2011, uh, where a federal court uh, agreed with us that there was direct material evidence that the Islamic Republic of Iran was involved in the 9-11 attacks. Uh, so we looked at what Mr. Zachary said. We looked at other witnesses as well, what they had, the evidence that they had. Uh, and, and I must say, there was evidence coming from all different sides that showed Iran's involvement in these attacks. Uh, but Mr. Zachary has been borne out, his information has been borne out by several other governments, uh, even though the United States didn't like him. And the reason the United States didn't like him was because they were embarrassed. They didn't do anything about his warning. That's why you called them CYA. CYA, right. Another, mm -hmm. uh, I really don't understand. It says, can you ask Mr. Timmerman whether he can help or maybe can support to publish a book? What's that? In, I, in, in Persian. Okay, in Persian before the Iran regime 